In this video, I'll be showing you how to capture new tasks and ideas super fast using the quick capture system. Honestly, it really is game changing. No more forgotten tasks or deadlines. This system will help you efficiently capture tasks with a single click and come back to them later to sort them. I'll be walking you through step by step how to set up your very own quick capture system in Notion and sharing some tips and tricks to make the process as smooth as possible. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already as I upload new Notion tutorials every single week. So I actually use the quick capture system on my my second brain template so I'm going to show you just quickly how it works and then I'm going to be showing you how to create a simple version of this. So here we have this quick capture box in my sidebar so this appears on every single page within the template and it allows you to quickly capture tasks, notes, projects and goals. So let's say that I'm already doing something but a new task pops into my head and I want to quickly note down the task before I forget it but I don't want it to take me away from what I'm currently doing. So what we can do is click on this new task button over in the sidebar. And that's going to pop open this side peak with a new page. So I can simply use this space here just to write the name of the task. So let's see that I realize I need to reply to someone's email. And that's it. That's all I need to do. I'm simply now just going to close off the page and that's it. The task has been recorded. And I can do that throughout the day with any new ideas that pop into my head. And then whenever I've got some time, I'll head over to my task manager page. And this is where we'll find the task inbox. So if I open this inbox up, as you can see, that task that we added earlier has now appeared in our inbox. So now I can simply add a due date. So I can say, when do I need to do this by? Let's say that I need to do it today. I can add a priority. So let's just put this one as medium. And I can also associate it with a project if I need to. But in this case, I'm just going to leave that blank. Now, once I filled out all the details, I'm just going to change the status from inbox to process because I've now processed it by putting all the information in and as you can see it now disappears so I can close the task inbox and this is my actual task list and as you can see that task is now appearing here in my actual to-do list for today so once I change the status from inbox to processed it will now show up in my actual task list and once I complete the task I can simply just check it off and it will disappear from the list. So now I'm going to be showing you how you can set up a quick capture system like this in your own Notion workspace. I'll be using a simpler example but if you are interested in my second brain template which is what I've been using in this video then it is available on my store it's an all-in-one productivity system so if you are interested check out the link in the description box Okay, so I've quickly just set up a brand new to-do list. So hopefully you already have something like this within your Notion workspace. So as you can see, we've got the name of the task in this column, a due date in this column. I've got my area in this column. So that's just which area of my life this task falls into. So I've got things like work, home, pet, etc. And we also have a priority select property as well. So I can select if the priority is low, medium or high. So this is a very simple to-do list. And as I said, you probably already have something like this in your Notion workspace. So what I'm gonna be doing is using this to-do list as an example and we're going to set up a quick capture system like the one I just showed you in my second brain template. So this is hopefully something that you can actually apply to your current workspace. So the first thing that we're going to do is add a status property onto this to-do list. So what I'm going to do is click on the plus symbol here to add another property and I'm going to type in status and we want to click this status property here and I'm going to leave the name as status and with this type of property you will see that there are already three different select options for not started, in progress and done. Now you can keep them as they are but what I'm going to do is actually change them to suit the quick capture system so for the one under to do I'm actually going to change this one to inbox we're going to change this one to processed and we can leave this one as done and one other thing I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to drag this process one and place it under the to do column and we're just going to leave the in progress column here blank so these are the options that we're going with so the first thing we're going to do is change the status for all of these items in the to do list to process so let me just explain the difference between the different options here so so inbox is anything that has been added into the system, but we've not filled out all of these details here. So that's the due date, the area and the priority. When you have filled out these details, you'll change it to processed. And when the task has actually been complete, that's when we're going to change it to done. So for these tasks, I have filled out all of the details. So therefore they go under the processed category. So I'm just going to place that in there and just drag it down to autocomplete for all of them. Now, the next thing we're going to do is add a button so that I can add a new task quickly using the button to this task list. So what we're going to do just above the task list I'm going to type in forward slash button and select this button property and I'm simply going to name this one new task and let's change the icon here to a plus symbol so if you click on here you can actually select a plus symbol so it looks like it says add new task 
we're going to click add an action and I'm going to select the add page to option because I actually want to add a new page into the task database below. So I'm going to click add page to. It's going to ask me to select the database. So you'll want to select your task database, which is this one. Now it usually will automatically bring up the name property. So we're actually going to leave this blank because the name is going to be the name of the task. So obviously I'm not going to know what the task is until I click the button. So we're not going to fill this out. So instead we're actually going to fill out the status. That's the only property that I want to auto fill out with this button and we want it to be set as inbox. Whenever we add a new task using this button, we want it to be added to our inbox, not to our main task list. So that's why we're going to set the status as inbox. And we're actually not going to change any other details on here because the other details are going to be added later after you've clicked the button. The one other thing we need to do though is add one more step and we actually just want to open the page. So if you remember when you click the button, it opens up the page so that you can input the name of the task. So you do have to tell the button that you want it to open the page and it will ask you to select the page and luckily you can select the new page added as the option and it will also allow you to set how the new page opens so I'm actually going to set it to a side peak so it just pops open on the side if it's a center peak it kind of takes up the whole room so I think a side peak works better so that is the button all set up so I'm simply just going to click done so let's test that our new button works so I'm going to click the add new task button this side peak has now opened up so I can add in the name of my task so let's just add something at random and I don't need to fill out any of these details because we'll fill those out later in the inbox so I can simply just close off the page and as you can see here that item has been added to our list automatically. Now this is my actual task list that I'm going to look at throughout the day so I actually only want to see tasks that have been processed in this task list. We're actually going to have a separate view in a moment for anything that is labeled as inbox. So because I only want to see things that are processed we're going to add a filter so I'm going to click on filter. We're going to filter based on the status. As I said I only want to see things that are processed so I'm just simply going to check the process box here and that's all we're going to do. So now that I've added that filter as you can see the new task that we added that appeared at the bottom under inbox has now disappeared. One other thing that will make this a little bit easier to use is that we can actually have this status property here show up as a checkbox rather than the select option. So what we're going to do is click on status. We're going to edit the property and as you can see here it says show as select but if I click on there I'm going to actually show it as a checkbox and what this does is it will automatically change the status to whatever you have under this complete heading here. So in this case we've got done under here. So if I check the checkbox it doesn't matter if the item currently is set to inbox or processed it will automatically move it to done when the checkbox is checked so let me show you an example of how that works so let's open this page here just so you can see the status of this page is currently processed uh, but if I check the checkbox in the table as you can see the status was just changed to done and it was removed from the list because remember we have that filter that is only showing anything with a status of process so that's why it disappeared so I'll just change it back so changing this status property to a checkbox is simply just making it quicker for you to actually check off tasks once they're complete because you only have to do one click like this to complete the task whereas with the select option you would need two clicks because you'd have to click on the box and then select the done option. The next thing we're going to do is add our inbox so I'm actually going to place this just up here under the button so we're going to place this inside a toggle so that you can open and close it as you like. You can easily add a toggle either by typing forward slash and just type in toggle like this and select the toggle list otherwise I do have a quick little keyboard shortcut for you if you actually just type in the more than symbol like this and a space it will automatically add a toggle for you so it just speeds things up a bit and we're just going to name this inbox I'm also just going to highlight this and bold it and we can also add an emoji at the front here so another little notion trick if you type in a colon like this and the name of an emoji so I'm going to type in inbox there is actually this inbox emoji here so I'm going to input that as well so this is now what it looks like so I'm then going to click here on the empty toggle let's add one space and we're actually going to pull through a linked view of this database into here so I don't want to create a new database I just want to pull through this database but just set up a different view of it so to do that we can type in forward slash table and I want to select this table view under database so I'm going to ask me if I want to select a data source so in this case we want to select the exact database that we were using as the to-do list so that is this one and it will also ask if you want to copy an existing view so let's just copy the to-do list view which is the one that I set up below so as you can see this is just an exact copy of this database but we can now change this to make it more like an inbox now the first thing we're going to do here is we actually want to change this status property back into the select option rather than the checkbox because it works better for this view so what we're going to do is click on here again edit the property and let's change this back to a select property just need to make this bit wider now next we also want to change the filter so we already had the filter that was just filtering for anything that has a status of processed but instead we only want to see things where the status is inbox so I'm going to check inbox and uncheck process so it's just 
the inbox that is selected. So as you can see now that we've done that, the item that I added earlier using the button is now showing up again as it has the status of inbox. We're also just gonna change the name of this tab as well. So if I click rename, let's just call this one inbox. And you can also change the icon here as well. I think there is like a little inbox icon like this. So that is the inbox all set up. So you can just close the toggle when you're done with it or open when you need to see it. So it's quite a clean view. So that is actually our quick capture system all set up. So I'm gonna show you once again, just how it works. So whenever a new task pops into your mind, you can click the new task button that will open up this side peak here and you can input the name of the task and close it off without filling out any of the details. And whenever you have a bit of time, you can open up your inbox. I usually allocate just a couple of minutes every morning just to sort through anything that's landed into my inbox. And anything that's been added with that button will now show up here in your inbox. So you can simply add a due date, you can add an area and a priority. And once you've filled out all the details and you're happy with it, you can change the status to process. It will disappear from your inbox and it will then be added into your actual to-do list. So as you can see, it's just appeared here. So it's a pretty handy system. Once you're done, you can close the inbox and then just look at your main task list to see what you have coming up and everything's been sorted for you. And that's it. That's my complete quick capture system in Notion. You can check out all of my pre-made Notion templates over on my store, including this super advanced second brain template, which is an all-in-one productivity system. I'll leave a link in the description box below. And if you did find this video useful, then I'd really appreciate if you could give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as I upload new Notion tutorials like this one every week.